Twins. I wore my um, weather appropriate heels for you guys. Really trying to step it up. Oh goodness, I um, I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. Honestly, this is this is new ground that I'm treading. I'm I'm not the most um, political person publicly. Privately, it's something I'm I'm obsessed with. But um, when I first saw Pete and came to learn about him and his campaign, it was a no-brainer I had to support. So let me give you a little bit of backstory. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm a, a singer and a songwriter and an actor and all that fun stuff, but tonight I'm not here in that capacity. I'm here only as a fervent Pete Buttigieg supporter. Like all of you guys. Yeah. Sorry to have my back to you guys. <laughs> um, I first heard about Pete back in 2017. Like I said, I'm into politics. I read about it on Twitter. I listen to all the podcasts and drive myself crazy about it. Um, and I first learned about him when he was running for the DNC chair. Um, and I came to sort of understand who he was and what he brought to the table, and he was super impressive. So obviously I was a bit, I was a bit sad when he dropped out of the race, but uh, earlier last year, um, when he launched his exploratory committee, a friend of a friend invited me to an event in Los Angeles where I lived, uh, or where I lived, and, um, and I got to see Pete speak for the first time. And, you know, I remember him bounding into the room as he does a million times a day, jumping into a room full of strangers and sort of like, you know, regaling them with his greatest hits, but I had never heard him speak before and I was blown away. Um, he was so engaging and intelligent and articulate, and he also felt like a human being. He was someone that you could really talk to. He's obviously incredibly brilliant and articulate, but the way he was able to articulate that message never felt like he was talking over me. It felt like he was talking directly to me, and I love that. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny because, you know, I've had the chance to to work with some pretty cool characters in my career. I mean, I get to, I'm on this television show, This Is Us, where I have this incredible, like, yeah. <laughs> I have this superstar fake TV husband, Jack Pearson, who's like, you know, the perfect man. Um, and when I really stop to think about Pete, it's funny because I don't think that Hollywood even knows what to do with him. He's that much of an original, right? He's, he's a Midwestern mayor who took office at 29 and turned around a city on the brink. He's a Navy veteran who saw firsthand the cost of endless war. But he's also just this brilliant, plain-spoken millennial who speaks half a dozen languages. Half a dozen? Good gracious. <laughs> and he plays the piano and the didgeridoo, I just found out. Who, who knew? Um, but he likes to unwind with his rescue dogs and uh, his husband, Chastin, who I've come to know and love. Um, I mean, you couldn't write any of this if you tried, right? Because he's truly an original. And honestly, I think that's, that's what we need right now in this country. Because we're not in a TV show. This isn't a movie, right? It's our reality. And the reality is our, our country's in crisis. And we need... We need a leader who understands how urgent these challenges are and has the experience working on the ground to take on those challenges firsthand. We need a leader who knows how to bring people together because there's, so, there's something that's so uniquely unifying about Pete. That was the thing that really resonated with me when I heard him speak for the first time. He also reminds us that we can't turn our backs on our friends that maybe voted on the other side of the aisle last time, right? He knows how to unite everyone around shared values, around what really matters. So the number of challenges that we're facing are, may seem insurmountable, right? But the future doesn't have to be a dark place. Our country has overcome tremendous challenges before, and we will do it again, and Pete, is exactly the leader that we need to usher us into this new era. And Iowa, you guys, obviously, you know the responsibility you have. You know this critical part that you play in electing the next president of the United States, someone that is going to lead us into the next era. 
And I, uh, I just landed today, but I've already seen evidence of it here on the ground. There's something that's really special, special happening around Pete here in Iowa specifically. And we have 20 days to go, about 20 days to go until the Iowa caucuses. So with that, it is my honor to introduce you guys to Pete Buttigieg. so much one more time for Mandy Moore for her wonderful support her great talent this is us I think is fitting for a time like this where we're trying to make sure that there's an American story where more of us can see ourselves and she has a way of helping us see that every day I can't watch it too often because I just cry like in the first 20 seconds I'm bawling 